Okay, so we're doing our next review now. Uh, filming. I, I do apologise about the horrific noise. It sounds like a meat grinder. We're running green arrow in. Turns out, yeah, it gets louder as you run the engine in. And it's running through my legs at the minute. So here we have an LNER Teak observa uh, observation car. It's not an observation car, it's a buffet car. So um, these were starting to be mandatory on the LNER Flying Scotsman service and the expresses from Leeds London and things like that. Around 1910, when it was still the Great Northern Railway. And actually, these weren't invented so passengers could take luncheon on the train. They were invented so the first class people would stay in first class, and the second class and third class people would stay in second class and third class. There was always two birthday cars. Uh, I can't really remember much about the pricing, but it was two shillings and sixpence for a, for a pot of tea which was quite expensive, and it was about six shillings for, the, for lunch. But it was like a proper sort of posh three-course menu. I've got an example of it upstairs, or might be in here actually. Uh, no, I've got an example of it upstairs though. I might get it out in the next time we do an LNR review. Go faster. Uh, so these were the same length as normal takes, 61 feet 6 inches. Um, you could obviously, you, what you would do is the steward would come along the train and you'd ask the steward if, if, you, if you had a, a, a compartment with a table in, you could ask it to be brought to your compartment. If you didn't, you would have to book a seat in the buffet car, like it was a restaurant, it would often have like a buffet car and then they would have a dining car next to it. Because the Flying Scotsman was about 18 coaches long. Very grand passenger train. I mean, it had on a cocktail bar and it actually had a hairdressing salon. So that shows you how luxurious it was. So, open up the packaging. What was this? Why am I doing this voice? <laughs> I've gone on Kemp Hitler. So it's very similar to bathroom packaging, actually. But this box is quite tight, so... Uh, I was like figuring out that would be perfect. Anyway, so you get some detailing here. Well, actually, you don't get detailing. What this is, is... This is for closer coupling, if you want to couple the um, trains permanently. I don't, because I want to run this with other things, because this is the only buffet car, this is the first buffet car I have. So I'll fold the tab back. Hold these down and quick grab. Now you have it. Again, the packaging for the Hornby coaches is much more environmentally friendly than for the Batman Locos. Green Arrow once again passing through my legs. But just looking at it, it is incredibly well detailed. I mean, you can see, turn it around, you can see the seats. The tables, you can see there's some of the windows open, you can see the bar area where people would get their food and you can see seats right the way through. There's the corridor. It doesn't open but it does spring loaded buffers. Very impressive. The running number 24276. And Buffet car is actually etched on, you can feel the writing. Uh, I'm not sure how much this cost because it was a Christmas present, it's rude to ask how much a present cost. Uh, but Hattons are doing them for £47. Uh, the undercarriage detail, again, metal bogies, it's a NEM coupling on both sides. But can you back off a bit and zoom in? You invade my personal space. Hurry up for God's sake! Um, sorry to any vicars watching this. Uh, again, you get the undercarriage detail, the teak. Lovely, it's actually a paintwork, but it's made to look like. Sorry. Don't apologize about that, that was the Dowager Duke. Um, 
my father. I'm Duke of Stockton Grange, by the way. Hello. Uh, it's paint. What? It's specialised paint that Hornby have developed. So it looks like teak. These were nicknamed teaks, the carriages, because they were made out of teak wood, uh, which is probably one of the most strong woods you can get. I'm not an expert in the uh, field of carpentry, but I think teak is very strong. And I'm fairly sure that teak is what my piano is made out of. Or oak, I'm not sure. Um, so, sorry, I'm going to speed green out a little bit. I know you're not supposed to do that when you're running in, but, oh, sorry. Um, again, the detail is very good. Um, you can see, again, some of the windows have been opened. Uh, you couldn't smoke in the buffet car, or the dining car, or the kitchen car, because what you used to do is there would be three, there would be a buffet car in the middle, you'd have the kitchen car here, and you'd have the dining car here. And then you would have, obviously, the first class coaches here. There was very few first class coaches, because they made the majority of their money by second and third class passengers. So it is a very good coach. Just pop it down there. And if I had an LNER loco on me that wasn't completely and utterly not finished at running in, cough, cough, green arrow, uh, we would show you running it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in about 20 minutes after we've had lunch and after I've emptied my bladder and we're going to see what it runs like. Well, we know what it's going to run like, it's a bloody coach. But we're going to see what it looks like behind an LNR loco. And cut.